Hi friends, I'm Manoj here and I'm a data scientist, right? So in this particular video, we'll be having a discussion on two of the very most popularly and very, very widely used library that is the Keras as well as the TensorFlow in the whole of deep learning itself, right? So these are the very two most popular deep learning tools or the libraries that are being very, very frequently used oftentimes in the implementation part of the whole deep learning concept itself, right? Now, there might be a few puzzles that are popping up in your mind stating, hey, which library should I be opting, right? Or which is very conventional to go with so that I can learn at a faster pace and implement some of the things that I have been learning so far in the whole of deep learning itself, right? So having said that, here are a few of the points wherein we have listed down and We'll go through the both pros and cons of each of these performing tools, right? So having said that, let's get started with the flow. So Keras is an open source neural network library that is basically written in Python itself. And this Keras runs on top of the TensorFlow or Theano. Okay. Keras basically runs on top of TensorFlow. At the bottom line, it uses the some of the concepts of the TensorFlow or the Theano itself, and it is going to run on top of them. So it is just like outer layer that is being processed, wherein you can access this in at an easier manner. Okay. So coming to the TensorFlow itself, TensorFlow itself is an open source deep learning library which is uh, maintained and developed by Google itself. So the architect for the TensorFlow is none other than the mighty giant company google itself okay so keras is easy to use if you know the python language now if you are quite comfortable in handling the python or the python programming language it's very very simpler it's a piece of cake for you uh, very easy to implement and use the keras okay but in case of tensorflow what happens here is users have to learn what happens in case of tensorflow is user needs to learn the syntax. There's a structure for this TensorFlow programming and there's a different syntax apart from Python, right? Python has a different syntax and TensorFlow has a different syntax itself. So there is a lot of variations between these two. And if you're using the TensorFlow tool, then you have to learn the syntax. And this is quite complex one, of course, because uh, TensorFlow provides millions literally tons of uh, such functionalities wherein you you can it, it, it makes you ease of access wherein you can simply drag some of the functions and directly use them in your code okay keras is typically for uh, quick implementation parts it is perfect for quick implementation when you have a small snippet of things wherein you want to train on something which is of a smaller quantity keras holds the plus point for that point okay Coming to the TensorFlow, it is uh, typically used for uh, deep learning research as well as the very deep complex networks. When you have a very, very large network, large neural network, wherein you have hundreds of hidden layers, right? So at that point of time, TensorFlow is uh, something that becomes a savior. Okay, good. Then again, of course, Keras, the architecture of Keras is typically written in the Python programming language. Whereas in case of TensorFlow, so TensorFlow's architecture involves the languages like C++, Code, and Python. Okay. Then Keras has a simple architecture, which is quite, re it is because it is, re it Keras has simple architecture that is quite easy to read and it is very concise. That's because remember the architecture of Keras is typically written in Python programming language itself, right? Hence, what happens at this point when you have written the snippet of code, the whole architecture is being written in the Python itself. We all know Python is quite easy to read. The code readability of Python is typically very, very high. And you can write a very crisp and short code for Keras in, in Python programming, basically. But Coming to TensorFlow, it is not that very easy to use because TensorFlow provides tons of such functions wherein you have to learn and use them, right? So, of course, it is providing a lot of things, but 
unless until you know how to use them that makes really no sense right so that is one of the drawback over here it is not that easy to use at the very first shot itself okay then coming to keras again there is a very less frequent need to debug simple networks okay since keras is used in the implementation of very small networks right because we had spoken in the earlier it is perfect for quick implementations right so that is the reason whenever you have a smaller network the debugging part is quite easier than compared to the tensor flow because uh, it's it's a challenging task for any of the data scientist or a machine learning engineer or any research scholar who is uh, working on the tensor flow itself because debugging in tensor flow is not that easy it's it's a very hard task and it's quite challenging of course then keras is typically used for smaller data set which have smaller networks whereas in case of tensor flow of course we have seen earlier it is used for complex networks which is having a large network for that right and for some research oriented kind of things is also we use tensor flow itself and of course it is also used for some of the high performing model as well as larger data set when compared to keras keras can be used for low performance model we need not have to obtain like a uh, low performance model is something which uses less amount of memory less amount of resources because keras is typically used for smaller data sets and smaller networks right of course when there is smaller data set when there is smaller networks the memory consumption is also going to be very very small hence it is nothing but a low performance model whereas in case of tensor flow of course we use typically large data set for research and other high performing things of course this is going to require lot of consumption and this of course produces high performance kind of things right so that's it for today thank you